So I, I live in uh, Seattle, Washington, and uh, I've been living in this apartment for 25 years. And uh, 22nd of May, 2018, I went out and took out the garbage. And there by the garbage cans along the side of the house were these holes in the ground. And uh, at first I thought ants, because I've seen ants but around here, but the holes were too big. And I just thought, what is going on? Well, they were mining bees. I had never seen them here before. And a couple of them crawled out of their holes. Uh, and there was a few of them out collecting pollen. You can see this one here that just crawled down had pollen. There you can see the pollen on its pollen baskets. So these are uh, solitary bees. They nest subsocially, so a bunch of bees nesting in the same area. Um, they each provision their own cell in the tunnel for their own larva. Um, but apparently they have more than one uh, cells in these tunnels because I saw several bees, as many as five, coming out of this same hole. Uh, I'm not a bee expert, but as far as I can tell, this species is genus Andrena and the species is Evoluta. There's a couple of others, it's possible, but um, that's, that's as close as I can count. And they're called mining bees. Now, here you can see it's brighter. This is a little later in the day, it's warmed up, and they become much more active. Uh, at one point, there was as many as 25 of them flying around, swarming around, uh, and only about 10 holes, so that's where I figured out that there was more than one of them in each uh, hole. Now, uh, research I've done on these says that they're not aggressive at all. They do have sting, and they can sting, but uh, they certainly seem to ignore me. Uh, I suppose if you stuck your finger in the hole or, or grabbed one of them, they might sting you, but um, they're certainly not dangerous uh, or, or of any concern. Um, uh, they're actually very beneficial. They're really good pollinators, and they're natives. Uh, so, you know, they certainly support the plant life and all the other organisms that depend on those plants. Um, my understanding is that in eastern Washington, they keep these to pollinate uh, alfalfa fields, especially. Uh, if they're growing alfalfa for seed, they need to have the flowers pollinated. And uh, honeybees just won't, just won't do it. So they have these big flat areas that they've... Uh, created just the right conditions for these mining bees, and I, I guess introduced them or you know put some of them there, and then these uh, native mining bees go out and pollinate the uh, alfalfa fields. Um, I also read that they used uh, some kind of secretion to secure the walls of the tunnel, uh, or to keep it intact. Um, they spend uh, couple of months, I guess, provisioning these cells and laying eggs. I think each bee lays about 30 eggs. And then they close up the tunnel and the adult bee dies. And uh, the eggs hatch and the larvae feed on the pollen and molt a few times and turn into a pupa all winter long. And then in the spring, uh, when it warms up, they start hatching and um, dig, dig their way out of the tunnel and uh, start cycle all over again. I have to admit it was a little unnerving standing there with all these bees swarming around. Usually if there's a bunch of bees swarming around, it, there's an instinct to get the heck out of there. But uh, I spent several hours watching these and they just seemed to completely ignore me. This was uh, a little later in the day that the sun had gone uh, behind the house, so it was shady, a little cooled off a little bit, but they were still pretty active. You can see a bee there in the tunnel just sort of sitting in the opening. It's almost like they were guarding uh, guarding the tunnel. Um, sure, there are parasites uh, that go in and lay eggs that eat the bee larva and eat the pollen or something like that. So I know some of the wasps that provision burrows with prey animals will you know, guard them. There's flies that will lay eggs in there and parasitize the wasp larvae. So. There's one in the sitting in the opening.
Yeah, see that one flew off and there's another one right behind her. Sitting there watching, standing guard, holding down the fort. This one, uh, I saw this a few times. They came in and wandered around a bit, like they weren't quite sure where the opening was. Uh, I know that some of the insects use landmarks. They somehow memorize where uh, where their hole is by, you know, a leaf or a stone or a twig or something nearby. Uh, but I saw several come in like this one and just wander around like they just weren't sure. Uh, there's not a lot of a brain in these little things, so I suppose it's easy enough for them to get a little confused. But here, this one, once she figures it out, uh, she goes right for it. Some of them seem to hover around a bit, too, before landing. Uh, again, I don't really, I'm, I don't really understand their behavior that well. It almost seemed like they were being a bit cautious. Um, I suppose when you land, uh, there's always a chance. Yeah, there she goes. She's figured it out. And there's always a chance of uh, predators being around. Here I took a just a piece of uh, pine needle and see if I just made a movement near them. They'd pull in. Yeah, see? And they poke their head back out. That was really a fun discovery. Just something I'd never seen before and just thought I'd share this little video with you. Keep an eye out for the mining bees and be nice to them. They're good.